Hey y'all, it's Empress Lux Hot Shay. Please like and subscribe. Thank you to everyone that does already. Send a positive vibe to everyone. Um, I came over here to do an energy reading around Donald J. Trump and Joe Biden. Do not, um, I'm not promoting anyone. Just want to do an energy check. So, Spirit, what can you tell me about the two and the upcoming election? I'm going to start off with Donald Trump from his deck. Let me sage a little. <laughs> He's the one Gemini I don't claim out loud. Anything else? Interestingly enough, two of ones was based up. That is someone having some kind of success in the future. Like there's a resolution. Like this person's a visionary, very ambitious. <laughs> All right. So let's get into Joe Biden's energy pertaining to this election. It's Donald J. All for entertainment purposes. <laughs> for those. I was, um, so the two that was faced upwards for Joe Biden is the Ten of Swords, which is the ending, a death of a cycle, represented by Rosie O'Donnell, and the Wish card, Nine of Cups. I wasn't going to do this, but I'm going to pull uh, for my ancestors deck one card for each one of these. Um, yeah. Let me get one card for Donald Trump's deck. What do my ancestors and spirit guys have to say about him? Thank you. <clears throat> what about Joe Biden? All right. So the ancestor message I got for Donald J. Trump. <laughs> It's summer, bath and joy and light. Something could be symbolic of summer for him. I already discussed two of ones. This was the card that was face, plot out in my face. That is success in the future. Um, two may be significant. Uh, the time period is March 21st to March 30th. Uh, it's success, success, accomplishment, personal development within a career, being ambition, ambition. <laughs> Having ambition, um, a visionary, making plans and decision. There's a resolution waiting to be had. Some kind of action and originality. Okay, we got two of cups reverse, Gemini energy, the chariot reverse, temperance reverse, two of pentacles upright, and the devil reverse. That's interesting. Um, clearly, they have um, a tense relationship. Like, 
quarreling and with the debates and stuff. But with Donald Trump, it's like he has a what balancing act? Like, yeah, there's unlimited potential and possibilities with them multitasking, like a juggling energy within his regards to this, this relationship between these two. The chariot reverse and the devil reverse. Something is blocked and um, it's not, the success is not certain. Um, it almost feels like he wants to give up. Uh, and this is with the devil reverse. This is something being released, overcome evil, feeling defeated, um, detaching from unhealthy forces. The cherry sometimes also represent like a car, transportation, or like traveling, but or a breakthrough coming in, but for some reason it is blocked. The devil reverse is something being defeated. I don't know. Uh, temperance reverse. Um, temperance upright is a very spiritual card for me. And some, upright, it represents patience. This is reverse. So um, something about him not being patient enough for this success. Also overindulging in something or has a, he has an inability to suppress his desires. In some fashion, he may be addicted um, also, temperance reverse is also so sometimes can be associating with people you don't need to be associating with. There is an energy of something to do with money with the two of pentacles that is the tangible, like multitasking and like having unlimited potential for pertaining to this connection between them and this election. So, it's like he's doing a juggling act. Uh, he may feel like he could still get some sort of gains from this election, even if he doesn't win financially. The ancestor message I got for Joe Biden was the warrior. Be fearless and stand strong. I, yeah, they've been saying he's sick, and they pretty much people want him. He's too old. Doo -doo -doo -doo. He like, nah, I'm going to stand tall and show you I can be strong. He's in his warrior energy. Got the face paint on. Um, the two cards that was face upward for him is the Nine of Cups, which I, I think I mentioned that. And this is in sequence, nine and ten. It's like he's going to get his wish, but then it's going to be a death of a cycle. Like this is an ending. Um, ten of Swords and other tarot decks does represent like maybe some kind of portrayal. We're going to see this because Rosie O'Donnell is on a TV. Like Rosie O'Donnell, she was on a TV show. Da, 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 da. It's going to be televised, the death of this cycle. So how you go from having your wishes granted to the end of the cycle. That's what came out. The High Priestess, following your intuition. Wow, Eight of Swords, someone being free. Ooh. He got the temperance too, y'all. That is so interesting. Well, look. <sighs> He's not following his intuition. Because he's being impatient. Sagittarius energy. Tempers that came out for both of these eyes. It's something very spiritual and in, coming into play with this election. That's why it is something in the energy. It's something major about this particular election. I think he's going to be disappointed as well that Donald Trump is going to remain free. He's not going to get locked up. Um, he's, yeah, it's something about he's following his intuition and he feels like Donald Trump is not going to get locked up. <laughs> it's not going to be successful because you have a high priestess, the eight of swords reverse and six of wands reverse. So this is saying someone being free, six of wands is, if it was upright, that would be success. 
So, Six of Wands being reversed the same, there's going to be some temporary hiccups or bad news linked towards the Eight of Swords, which is someone being free. Okay. Uh, temperance reverse. Um, the sun reverse. And then we had the original cards, the Nine of Cups, and the Ten of Swords. The sun reverse is not being too happy. And it's right under the Eight of Swords energy, which is someone being free. Temperance reverse is, like I just said, for Trump. Like something being out of balance, inability to suppress desires, maybe associating with the wrong people. Not following his intuition about this temperance reverse. So it's something he's just not. Or he could be following his intuition with this temperance energy. Uh, I see him not being too happy with Trump still being out. Um, interesting, I don't know. Six of Wands reverse is not something not being successful in bad news. So bad news for Trump would be like a wish come true for Joe Biden. That would help him, but like I said, there's the end of a cycle for Joe Biden. I really feel like they're trying to block Trump from winning. Mm. Justice. Five of Cups reverse. And Page of Pentacles reverse. What I asked silently was Donald Trump going to win the election. I got justice. <laughs> which is something legal, um, having good karma, fairness. It gives me, um, he may do really good because people think he's authentic, but there's something about him being poorly prepared may hinder him. Like, there's going to be, I don't know, messages about him being poorly prepared. But I feel like he's going to grab at, you know, his supporters. They just like how they feel he is so real. But the justice did come out, and typically that is the yes. So I see there's going to be some kind of fairness. That shit just moved by itself. What you trying to tell me, spirit? And it's a J, Donald J. Trump. Uh, let's see. Okay. Spirit, will Joe Biden win this election? Can I have two more? There's going to be some slander that come out about Joe Biden. Which, I mean, what more can he say about him? Ugh. I got a maybe with the Hierophant. Um, people will gravitate towards him because he has traditional values. He's more conventional. He follows the norms. He, in, he inclines. He has inclination towards group identification. People feel like this is the better decision, the right decision to do. But I have three, uh, I have three no definite answers. I have the Seven of Swords, the King of Pentacles Reverse, and the Queen of Swords Reverse. So, there's going to be some kind of slander and revelations. And he could be lying to people and others about certain, certain things. And I feel like he may get caught. Um, the King of Pentacles, I see some kind of corruption energy as well going against him. Um, there's the energy of something about unproductive financial endeavors. Or being too authoritative in a situation dealing with money. Um, then you have the Queen of Swords. Um, 
I don't know if somebody, a woman, a feminine energy is going to be speaking out against whatever this situation is. Uh, I'm getting like some, the elite, the elite, elitism. There's going to be communications about whatever this money issue is. Like this unproductive financial endeavors. Someone's going to put it, broadcast it. And at the bottom of the deck, I have six cups. This represents negative memories of things that have happened in the past. Really, bad memories. That's the ancient bad memories. So, I got the justice. Definite, yeah, and then a the maybe with the higher fence. So, that's all I got, folks, with this election. I do pick up, I feel like it's going to be really interesting. We saw chaos earlier, so people just protect yourself. And something very interesting about this election so you know positive vibes to all you guys